Life is full of times and seasons, and there are times when everything is pleasant and everything is smooth. There are also times when things are tough and very difficult. It's not peculiar to you, and the idea that God is the one controlling everything has made a lot of people bound to the negative side of life. With the understanding that God is the one making life messy for you and not going the way it should be, that's not true when you understand the word of God. 2 Timothy 3 verse 15 says, All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine. And he tells us from there that the word of God gives us wisdom. So when you know God's word, you know his character and you'll know what God is doing in your life. God is not the one that's responsible for the things that are not going well in your life because the Bible says that all he made from the beginning was good and excellent. There is no one thing that God made that was bad. So God made you and you're beautiful and all that God made around you is good. Anything that seems to be bad, wicked and unpleasant is from the devil and he's the one the Bible calls the God of this world. So never think that God is the one responsible for your downfall or the situation. This is one thing that may make people not believe in God for their help and miracles in their lives. So you must know the God that you have believed. The God you've believed is not a wicked God that'll leave you when you need help. Psalm 46 verse 1 says that God is a very pleasant help in times of trouble. So whenever there's trouble in your life and any situation in your life, God is always willing. He can help you out of the situation. And this is why you can trust in him. This is why you can open your heart to him. This is why you can trust his grace to deliver you from any trouble in every circumstance that's not pleasant. You must know whom you have believed. God will not allow your circumstance to determine how he's going to bless you. The blessings of God in your life will overpower and overtake the circumstances you're going through. Are you experiencing something in your life? Are you experiencing a difficulty that's been keeping you worried and anxious? Or are you experiencing a challenge in your life or even a bodily challenge or financial crisis? It doesn't matter because God is always a blessing. God is a blessing God and God is a giving God. He's always a giver and his blessing doesn't stop when you're in any circumstance. So to say that what you're going through is determining how God will bless you is funny. You might be struggling with sin, shortcomings and mistakes in your life, but that doesn't stop the blessings of God in your life. Sin doesn't stop the place of God in your life because the blessing of God in your life is not based on what you do or your actions. The blessings of God in your life is based on his character and his character is your father. Ephesians 1 verse 3 says, God has blessed us all with spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. The blessings of God makes you love God more and it makes you serve him. The more when you know it's God blessing you, the blessing makes you focus on God and trust in God, not man. That is what the grace of God does for you. And that is why when we seek God's blessing, we should hunger the blessing of God in our life. Nothing can change the life of a man like the blessing of God and the hand of God. It's what makes the difference between one person and another. This is why someone might be working in a company for a year and gets promoted, which is why his past qualification and another person may have been in the workplace for many years and has not been promoted. The reason is based on mindset. One believes that God will bless him regardless of the situation, while the other does not. The Bible says in Proverbs that the blessing of God maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. When God blesses you, there is nothing that hinders you. Stop complaining. Stop giving excuses for why God shouldn't bless you because of the situation of sin or fault you find yourself in. And then you complain that you can't handle the rest of your life. It is left to you to enlarge your heart because God cannot bless you beyond what you believe and what you can carry in your heart. It's very hard to not believe that God's blessing is not dependent on your action. And that is what God says in his word, that his blessing 
is not dependent on what we're going through or what we're facing, but based on our inheritance. Just like when God called Abraham in Genesis 12, Abraham was staying in a place where they were worshiping idols and when he was still staying in his father's house. The circumstance there at that time was that Abraham was irresponsible, a man still living with his father as a married person. But God called him and said, I have blessed you. In blessing, I have blessed you. And in multiplying, I have multiplied you. God's blessing overpowers you to raise above your situations. When God blesses you, he makes you live above the wrong circumstances. The blessing of God is more evident and more abundant in places where we have difficult situations. That is why Paul will say his grace is sufficient for me. His strength is made perfect in my weakness. Much rather, I will glory in my weakness when I am weak than I am strong. God's grace is more abundant in the place of weakness. That means your disqualification is your qualification. God is a God of grace. He's a God of mercy, and that's his nature. The Bible says that he'll be merciful to our unrighteousness and iniquities. There is nothing that stops God's blessings in our life except unbelief. God is your father, and he blesses you apart from your works and actions because you are his responsibility. He is committed to taking care of you and ensuring that you are well physically, emotionally, and financially, and that you walk in all-around success. You should believe that your circumstances will not determine how much God blesses you. God can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ask or think. And when you believe right about God, you will see the blessing of God run to the overflow in your life. Instead of weeping over your situation and thinking you're the only one suffering in life, believe in the goodness of God and experience His goodness today.